You could be at her home, it might be after dinner, and Asawa might look at you and say, you have the most interesting face and I'd love to cast it. You might lay on her kitchen table or on the floor, and Asawa would then slowly apply plaster and layers after that until it hardened enough so that she could remove the cast. The Faces of Ruth Asawa is a long-term installation of the 233 face masks that comprise this mask wall. And this installation is meant to be evocative of the original setting in which these masks were placed, which was on the exterior of her entryway outside their Noe Valley family home. It was made over the course of more than 35 years, from around 1966 to 2000. And on the wall, you will find casts of friends, family members, other artists, community members in the Bay Area, and it really represents the vast range of folks that she interacted with throughout the course of her long career in San Francisco. They were hanging outside of her house for many years in the elements, and um, when they came into the museum, they needed a big condition survey so that we could know what sort of state they were in and discovered that a lot of them needed some treatment. This is a mask that broke at one point, and you can see the brake line all across the face, and a family member repaired it. And so there are lots of adhesive residues and funny fill materials. And so my treatment will involve removing as much of the residue as I can, filling in some of the gaps that are still there. Luckily, it's well aligned. There was really a range of degrees of intervention that we decided on for each mask. The Asian American Art Initiative, or the AAAI as we call it, seeks to make Stanford and the Cantor the preeminent center of study for Asian American art. This is a body of work that is previously under-acknowledged, so it really represents the type of work that we like to do, which is highlight and provide platforms for art made by artists of Asian descent, but also reveal new histories and narratives that might be previously unknown to most museum visitors and scholars. The great legacy of Asawa's career that is not talked about as much is her role as an arts advocate, as an arts educator and community leader. She was someone who was deeply involved in the Greater Bay Area Arts community. When you see the accumulation of all these masks together, you really get a wonderful picture and archive of Ruth Asawa's life and who was in it.